Washington County, the school system is delaying their move to their brand new facility that will house K through 12. We've been following this building process since the groundbreaking. On your side's Lauren Beachy went to Plymouth today to talk to the superintendent. She's in the studio with us now. So Lauren, when will the school be done? Ken, they were hoping that this new building would be open by the beginning of this time for the school to start. And now they're expecting the transition for students over in late November or early December. But they are starting the year already consolidated, hoping to make the transition even smoother. Initial delivery date was going to be late fall, early winter. Um, we thought we'd gotten ahead, and so we were hoping for a, a preschool delivery. However, that didn't work, so we're really back on our previous timeline. Um, unfortunately, we cannot occupy the school at the beginning of the school year like we had hoped, uh, but that's okay. We're still excited about starting a new fr school year, a fresh school year. A project in the works. We've been coordinating this for the past year. So we've been planning out what the initial consolidation uh, will look like, and that's consolidating our Pines Elementary and Cresswell Elementary into our um, Washington County Elementary School and our Washington County Middle School and Washington County High School into Washington County High School. Although it's taking longer than anticipated, he says it will not affect having a successful beginning of the school year. This is just a great opportunity for us to start the school year uh, and to really give a boost to Washington County schools. Um, we've actually created a new uh, vision and mission for our schools uh, and we're going to wrap it around our core values, new and instilled core values, uh, two of which uh, include uh, high expectations for our students, staff and our community and the other is a love of learning. And I think that that's important as we take on this new facility, um, this new edifice that we are going to uh, begin educating our students in. And I think if we stick to those core values, I think that we have a very positive future ahead of us. In a post on social media, Dr. White says that they will keep us updated on the process of the project and will notify us of the new expected completion date. We will, of course, pass that information along on air and online. In the studio, Lauren Beachy, 9 on your side. All right, Lauren, thanks.